Today is impeller day. Yay. Gotta watch out for landmines on the docks. So it's a little bit before 7.30 and I'm waiting for my nephew Matt to show up. He'll be uh, sending me a text here as soon as he gets in. In the meantime, I've got some coffee, tall mocha, and cheese danish. So the tools are out. Sweet. Matt's in the bilge. He's got the raw water shut off here. There it is right there. And uh, he's going to try to reach over on the starboard side because that's the most difficult pump. It's the pumps on the outboard side. He's going to try to get that one first. Okay, so the starboard uh, raw water pump is off. It's got uh, four Allen screws that we're going to take off. Luckily, they're coming right off. And let's pull the lid off and see what's going on. Okay, so it's uh, off. Plate's off. Plate looks in pretty good shape. Uh, no broken veins there, which I thought for sure we'd have some broken veins, but we don't have any. So that's cool. Alright. Time to pull the old one out and put the new one in. So I'm trying to stuff the new uh, impeller in there. The old one right there. Making sure that we got our veins going in the right direction. Pain in the ass. So, of course, nothing's easy on a boat. Um, the gaskets that are supplied with the Sierra impellers are just slightly different. The whole pattern is not quite right. Um, even though it's the correct impeller, the gaskets are not right. So, I'm going to take a run over to Captain's Locker while Matt pulls the uh, port engine uh, raw water pump off and see if we can uh, get a solution here get the right gasket okay got the right gaskets from uh, captain's locker they saved the day and uh, Matt's put on the starboard impeller and is working on the port one here which looks like it's about ready to go back together uh, making pretty good time here so after a little testing uh, both backing plates on this uh, these pumps are dripping just a little bit so we're gonna resolve that with a little uh, uh, blue RTV not, and... not blue, the white one. Oh, you want the white one yeah oh, okay okay we're gonna resolve it with the white one <laughs> all right so what's the problem here Matt we got a leak So we're doing the uh, starboard side now, got the port side all ready to go back on. And we found a, uh, another problem uh, down here, there's uh, in the alternator, there's a wire that's come loose. It's actually corroded apart, so I'll be fixing that a little bit later. It's always something. Okay, we're going to give it another shot here. We're uh, just about ready to power these guys up listen to a little Aerosmith okay so starboard engine looks like it's good right Matt yeah Okay, so uh, just gotten back from West Marine uh, to get some things to fix this little electrical issue that we've got going on. And uh, first and foremost was a new piece of wire, 10 gauge, some uh, um, connectors, but these are for a different gauge. I just happen to be out of them. And I got some shrink wrap 
to go around the 10 gauge connectors that I'm going to be putting on. And I got myself a heat gun. Um, I know that uh, you know you can buy heat guns at uh, Harbor Freight for like nine bucks. Um, but I was at West Marine, it was there. This is supposedly a fairly good one. So, so let's take a closer look at what's going on with that electrical issue. So the issue is right down here. You can see that orange wire there is uh, corroded and it's broken free. And it was connecting to this other wire, which is over here. This one right here. So I'm going to re-terminate the connections, put in a new length of wire because uh, it's just too short to reconnect the two. And uh, heat shrink it, and hopefully that'll be it. And take care of my uh, alternator not kicking in and charging. There's not a whole lot of clearance uh, in the build here, so everything's gotta come out of my pockets and from around my neck when I'm working down here. It's just very, very tight. All right, well, let's get to it and get that wire fixed. Okay, well, we've got our patch in place and uh, shrink wrapped uh, both of those connections. It's actually a 10 gauge that's connecting to a 12 gauge. Um, so I got some 10 gauge wire. So I'm 10 gauge to 10 gauge on one side and I'm 10 gauge to 12 gauge on the other side. Okay, as temperature's coming up on the raw water system, I like to uh, use my little thermal guy and take a shot, see what's going on with the uh, risers here. 72, 73 degrees on this guy. Uh, 74 degrees on him. Okay, well after checking the uh, temperatures on all four risers and the thermostat housing and the uh, radiator fill cap where the temperature sender unit is, um, I don't see any major differences between the two engines or any of the four risers. So that all looks pretty good. Starboard engine runs about five degrees warmer than the port engine and I don't see that reflected in the temperature readings so I'm thinking maybe the sender unit which is different on the uh, starboard engine maybe has got a little corrosion or something I'll have to take a look at that uh, later but uh, everything looks good for now the raw water systems in good shape so flushed it and uh, new impellers um, if you like what you saw today please uh, hit the subscribe button um, and also, if you have a comment, uh, you know, helpful hints, uh, please leave them down below. Uh, thank you very much. Bye. Now I gotta clean up this mess. Oh boy.